When we talk about maternal mental health, the definition really is in the statement. So when we look at maternal, we're looking at women of childbearing age and beyond. Um, we are also looking at mental health issues, so anxiety and depressions. Child birth, childbearing, these all bring up a lot of um, happy thoughts in our mind, right? Um, when we look at uh, our friends and family who become pregnant, it's supposed to be a happy time. But in reality, uh, for a lot of women, it becomes a very stressful time in their life, even trying to become pregnant. So it is quite common for women to experience mental health issues, um, especially uh, during pregnancy and after pregnancy. So there's something called the baby blues, right? So as soon as a woman gives birth, these are very common because of that huge increase of drop of hormone levels. And so the baby blues usually last about two weeks. So for about 14 days, and that could be you know, a little weepiness, crying, slight irritability, lack of sleep. After that, if anything lingers or gets worse, crying spells, irritability, anger, moodiness, sadness. Um, some moms can experience not wanting to interact with the baby as much. That time frame is very important to look at and to reach out for help. Other treatment modalities that we look at besides medication are things like therapy, talk therapy, group therapy, nutrition, eating better, staying hydrated, uh, making sure there's some kind of exercise routine. You know, anything that we can do holistically um, is also going to be additive to any treatment that needs to be given uh, pharmacologically. Uh, and then we're looking at the possibility of medications and usually those involve antidepressants. Um, depending on the severity of the symptoms, we're also talking about antipsychotics as a treatment. Not every single medication is for every single person or situation. So treatment can vary from uh, mom to mom. If you are someone that you know is looking for support uh, for possible postpartum depression, please look at the website of baptisthealth.net for a list of courses and resources in the community that can really be helpful.